everyone, I'm Joe from Joe's Collector's Corner. Welcome back to another video. I'm a part-time eBay reseller and as always, another week has gone by. We've been to a car boot. It is red hot. It was red hot all morning um, and we've bought some really cool stuff. Um, yeah, let's go through everything we bought and then we'll go through uh, what's sold this week as well. So first things first, I did actually pop into a charity shop um, a couple of days ago and I spent 15 quid and to be fair, I probably wasted my money, but I bought two Inside Out Funko Pops. I had a quick look. I thought these were mint, as in I could sell them as brand new, but there are a couple of tears in them. So hopefully we'll get 20 for Sadness and about 15 for Joy. I paid £5 each on them, which is too much. Um, but I just thought they're easy to list, easy to sell. I've sold, you know, 50 at least, you know, in the past six months. So it was worth a go. Um, and then I also bought these. These cost £4, and if you know what these are, then you know there's definitely some profit. I don't know if any of you remember these from your childhood, but I, def I know one person that had these, and these are called Nike Air Rifts, and they're weird. The split toe, so that you can feel the, uh, <laughs> the breeze between your feet, I guess, when you run. These are a women's um, size, what are they, size 5.5. Now, these go from anywhere between 40 to £100, maybe. And these are kind of the white ones with some blue. You need a quick wipe, make them nice and clean. Hopefully, 50 quid, 40 to 50 pound on these. So that kind of makes up for the the waste of time Funko Pop kind of buy. But yeah, really cool. First time I've seen them in a shop. I'm really happy with that. Now, what did we spend? Um, I think we spent this morning 64 pound 70, about 65 quid. Um, some of the stuff we've paid up for and we might not get a lot of profit, but I think there's a lot of nice items here. I'm going to start off with this, which might be one of my favourite. And I, I have no idea on the value of this, but there's no way I'm losing money. This is an authentic Nike um, England track jacket. England on the back. It is, honestly, it's mint. They said to me, it might need a bit of a wash, but honestly, it smells like it's been washed. And with it being pure white, it is immaculate. 100% real official Nike product, England, with the Euros going on, I definitely think there's going to be some value in this. We, we had a quick look to make sure it was real, and it was, but I didn't check what year this was. I'm guessing it's fairly new, and I can't imagine these being cheap, so really, really good buy. Three quid I paid for this. I think that might be the only clothing buy. Um, we bought a lot of shoes, but let's just start rattling off some random bits and bobs. We bought a single uh, Monster Jam monster truck this is a pirate one now i've seen one there's one on ebay with um black bottom here exactly the same on the top that goes for 20 to 25 quid and i couldn't find the one with the red on the bottom but let's say safe 10 pound plus postage which is what some of the unique ones i've been selling go for it might be worth a little bit more um we then bought a couple of games just because they were 30p each um no major value but we got black ops 3 a game called Drive Club, which I've not checked the value on, it's probably worth about three quid. And then we also bought Advanced Warfare, which to be fair, I could probably bundle up with Black Ops and get a little bit more money. We bought a pair of Toy Story toys. Um, we got a Woody, which is probably the highest quality one I've ever seen, which is like 100% like the film with the pull string, although I think the pull string might be stuck. But really nice condition, got the hat. Andy on the bottom, I've not checked if it's got a year on it. Um, and then we also bought a Buzz Lightyear. And I think I paid a tenner for both because this one came with the certificate of authenticity. Now, if this is the one, I think it is. It's got Sharpie on it, unfortunately, so I'll have to try and get that off. But if this was boxed, they sell for about 200 quid with a certificate because it, it looks like the box that was in the film. Um, it needs some batteries, definitely, because it's been left on, but it's got the wings, nothing snapped on it. So I paid £10 for both, hopefully there's a little bit of profit in there, but I just thought it was really cool and there's a chance it's the expensive one, so it was worth a go, especially with this nice certificate. Uh, let's just finish off this bag that I've got here. Now, the, uh, I bought a Nike uh, Rangers, I think it's Rangers FC hat. Uh, I'm not sure on the age of this, actually. I don't know if it says here. Uh, no, it doesn't say the... Uh, the age but it's real and it's um it's new and tagged it is an old well it was 7.99 originally but um i 
can't imagine it's still that price because you know once a season's gone by um, you can't get them again but it is legit official Rangers Nike a couple of quid maybe a tenner might surprise me and be worth more I mean the, the Leeds beanie I got 20 23 quid for so with any luck could be some profit in that uh, this was a funny one I bought a pair of these are Jurassic World Raptor feet now I looked at these and the mum was telling me all about them she was like yeah smack them on the floor look they make a noise definitely sound like they need some batteries um, and I, I walked away because I was looking at all the battery compartment and nowhere does it say anything to do with Jurassic Park Jurassic World literally just has an item number and says made in China on it so I walked off I had a quick look online and a pair sold for 35 quid exactly the same listed as Jurassic World blue raptor feet so I thought you know I'll run back and quickly ask how much she wanted for them and she wanted three quid so um I weren't going to say no I'm going to list them exactly as the other ones were and hopefully get 30 to 35 pounds for them trip those games over there now let's go through this massive bag that we've got I actually bought this bag while I was there and surprisingly it's worth a bit of money so we'll do that right at the end once it's empty um first things first we bought a pair of Paul Smith Reebok trainers because they were a pound I now realize that's why they were a pound but I thought Paul Smith Reebok collaboration it's old might be worth some money there's some major damage on the front now which is a huge shame so they'll probably go in the bin but I guess we can look them up to see if I were, was going to make any money but that you know that serves me right for seeing Paul Smith instantly buying them and not checking them over properly I think that's the thing with shoes is when you've got two I'll have a look at one and just assume they're okay and then make the mistake of buying a knackered pair which I've done a few times but you know that's part of the game um, these are interesting I've never seen these um, these are a pair of Timberlands but they're kind of like Royal Mail style you know walking shoes fully black leather not that much creasing there's a bit of creasing on one but not really on the other soles are really good condition um, they've got some age to them See, the, yeah, the problem is the tags are super warm. I think they're an 11, but I really can't tell. So I'm not sure how we're going to figure it out. We'll find a way. I guess I'll compare it to some other shoes. But yeah, Timberlands, black leather, pretty cool. Didn't cost me that much, so I wasn't going to say no. We then bought a pair. The, I just bought these because they look nice and they look like they're in decent nick. Um, well they're in okay condition actually there's a bit of wear on the, the back but these are a pair of kind of suede sketches almost sketches walking boots walking shoes trainers really nice cool color like I said there's some wear on the back which again I obviously didn't look close enough uh, we bought these are nice because these are similar to the um, those fur lined night Adidas high tops I bought them old ones I bought these um, which are a newer version but they're in really good condition, pretty much. Well, to be fair, they are just ready to list. I might give a quick brush around the white. But the fur lined, nice Adidas, really clean suede. Pick up a four quid, which I'm happy paying about that for shoes. Even if they're worth 20, you know, you're at least going to make a tenner. Um, these are nice, these are really clean. Oh, at least I hope they are. I definitely looked at them long enough. These are a pair of Adidas. I've never seen ones like this with like the mesh side and back. Nice summer shoe. Um, what size are they? It's a shame they're only a size 9. If these were a size 11, I probably would have kept them. But soles, really good condition. Really nice tongue and sides. Pretty happy with that. Uh, that's the feet. <laughs> we bought a pair of indoor Adidas football boots really good condition again just need a quick clean on that one in the summer it looks a bit mucky but to be fair they are pretty clean size eight and a half bottoms are good always happy with them and then we would a pair of these which i was told the name of them but i've already forgot but they're a super weird looking pair of nikes um and there you go nike air i think i literally paid like two quid Size six, I think they might be missing the soles. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah, they are missing the soles. So we'll let them go cheap, but they just look cool. 
that's it, the Hirachi. Nike Air Hirachi. Really weird. I don't know, can't see how they're comfortable, but um, yeah, there you go. Interesting pair of shoes. Uh, don't worry. Turns out all I bought today is shoes. Uh, we bought a pair of Hotters. Shout out to Rummage Around. He's always going on about Hotters and, you know, brand new in a box. Couldn't say no to these. They are small women's, but they're women's Hotters, brand new, in the box. Paid five pounds. Really happy with that. Hopefully I'll get 30 for them. I don't think the size matters when they're brand new in a box. You know, somebody's going to want them and buy them. Um, we then bought, and let's go through the last pair of shoes actually, these are from the same buyer, these are brand new, first time finding a pair of these, these are a pair of Echo, women's Echoes, brand new, soft sneaker, that's what they're down as, kind of hideous, and again, small size, but, like I said, brand new with tags, so I'm not going to say no to that, three quid on them. Last three items now, uh, this is probably a bit of a fail, but I bought kind of like an ornate Lampshade, two light bulbs. Pretty sure it's it's very modern though, so it'll be a repo. Um, but the design is cool, and it's quite heavy. It's got some weight to it. It's not a cheap piece of plastic. It is metal. So I'm hoping we can get twenty to thirty on that. I might be able to get twenty. I might aim a bit higher, but yeah, it does look really cool. And like I said, it is solid metal, so I will list it as such. I'm going to use the word ornate because that seems to. Uh, Seems to go down quite well. Might even put Gatsby in it or something, I'm not sure. I'll see what others kind of are going for. That's the, I think that's the hardest thing with, with items like that that don't have a barcode, is how do you research them? You've kind of got to know the keywords. Uh, now this needs a good clean, but I bought a collectible Hello Kitty CD player speaker set. Hoping it works because they go for about 35 quid plus postage. Um, although it has got some yellowing on it. And it's got some pen over here that needs to come off. So I'll see if I can get that off. But, you know, I'm hoping for 30. All working. Paid four quid, I think. And then last but not least, we have the bag that it was all stored in. Which is a pretty short, it's new, um, massive Nike gym bag. Really nice one. Really good condition. Um, still got the full strap on the inside as well. Look these up, seem to go for about 30, 30 quid plus postage, 35 quid. So I'm kind of in between two places. Do I keep it and use it at the car boot because it's huge? Or do I get 30 quid for it? I'm not sure. We are going away for a week on Friday, so I might use it for that and then just sell it afterwards. Um, but yeah, really nice condition. Really, really happy with everything I bought. A ton of shoes. I didn't realize all I bought is trainers, but um, you know, they're easy to photograph, as long as they're clean enough and it doesn't take ages scrubbing them. It's pretty, pretty easy listing. So yeah, that's everything I bought. Um, let's go through what's sold. So in terms of sales, again, it's been quite a slow week. We had three days in a row with no sales whatsoever, which, you know, after getting into the habit of doing a couple of sales a day is a bit disheartening, but you can't let it stop you. Um, I'm going to keep buying, I'm going to keep listing, and eventually all these items will sell. There always seems to be standout weeks in the month. But um, actually totaling it up, even with three days of no sales, we did £249.82 and pence in total. That's across eBay, Vinted and Depop. So it's actually not as bad as I think it is. Um, we did £190.85p on eBay, £12.99 on Vinted and then £45.98 on Depop, which is good because Depop sales normally never happen. Um, let's go through everything that we sold then. So first on Depop, we sold the Pokemon Go Varsity Jacket for £17.99. Um, and then we sold a really nice pair of New Balance for full price, $27.99. And I think I might have even loaded them a bit on eBay. So I was really happy with that. They are probably like one of my favourite pairs of shoes I've sold. If they were men's size 11, I'd keep them. But unfortunately, they were not. So they've gone. On Vinted, we sold the Lego Miles Morales set. That went for $12.99 all in. Probably worth keeping and waiting for it to retire, but at the minute it's everywhere. It's in the entertainer for about nine quid, so twelve ninety nine on vintage. Really happy with that. Paid fifty p. Um, and then let's go through eBay, I guess. So the first thing we sold was Little Big Planet for the Sony PSP. That went for four ninety five all in. We then sold Animal Crossing for the DS for fourteen ninety five. That was part of the five pound DS bundle, and so really happy with that been sending out a lot of offers on Vinted for the DS. The gaming consoles seem to have loads more interest on Vinted than they do on eBay. 
I don't think I've had any watches. I've got about five views on it, but it's had a lot of interest on Vinted, so hopefully that'll go soon. We sold the Wesco Transformers alarm clock for $9.99. I think I paid a pound for that. Uh, we then bought, uh, bought, we then sold a vintage Fisher Price music toy box clock thing, uh, 1970s, that went for $29.99 all in. We then sold the pair of Birkenstocks that we got last week. They went for $39.99 all in. They weren't a size 12. Um, I read it wrong. They were a size 10.5. Still got 40 quid for them though, so really happy with that. We then sold um, a massive winter fleece. Uh, the Schott, is it Schott or Schott? S-C-H-O-T-T -T, um, NYC fleece lined hoodie. That went for $27.99 all in. We then sold the Ardman Animations Rex the Runt plush. I think it's probably worth about 30 because all four go for 120. Mine went for, I've sent an offer, it went for 22 pounds free postage, which for a couple of quid or one pound 50, I'm not gonna complain. And then the last sale of the week, which was, you know, like three days ago, was the um, True Toys High Flyer Denny Riordan Gremlins skateboard, the cruiser, the really cool graphic that went for £33 plus £7.99 postage. Really retro, really cool graphic, really like that. Um, but yeah, that went on a, a slight offer. I think I'd up for 37 because one had sold similar and I've been sending out 33s for a couple of weeks. It had quite a lot of watches and somebody finally bit the bullet and bought it. So yeah, that's everything that sold over all the platforms, totaling 250 quid for this week. Um, tons of stock to get listed and hopefully a lot of these shoes won't take very long to photograph and they'll be up shortly and hopefully we'll bring in some more sales i hope you guys had a good week um i think i've managed to fly through this video normally it takes me ages i don't know how i managed that but um yeah have a good week let me know if you bought anything cool i'll see you all in the next one